Hey, welcome back viewers to another video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some Fortnite streamer setups. But before that, it's time to send a shout out to Randall Couch. Shout out to you. Guys, if you want a shout out, remember to drop a like on the video and also to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we go live. All right, guys, our first streamer setup is none other than Upshell from Upshell Games. All right, we're gonna take a look at his setup. He has two PCs. He also has a PlayStation Pro that he's not using at the moment. He records and streams from his two PC setup with his dual monitors and dual computers and with his portable Elgato green screen. Let's take a look at his setup. Game time. Match uh, so yeah, this is my setup. I have two PCs, also have a PlayStation 4 Pro over there that I don't have plugged in right now. But yeah, this is where I game. All right, Upshell, that was pretty awesome. He also had some acoustic foam panels on the wall to help with that sound. Uh, and that's very important when you are streaming or when you are recording. All right, guys, next up, we're gonna take a look at Kristen, AKA Kitty Plays. She is a 26 year old Canadian currently based in Vancouver. And she is all about doing her best to focus on real time engagement and encouragement within her streams. She is currently rocking a one PC setup with dual monitors and her recommendation is drink a lot of water guys, a lot of water. Do not mind if your setup does not look like this yet as a streamer because this has been many, many years and by that I mean four years of accumulating everything, testing tons and tons of different products and this is the setup that I have reached what gives me zen, what gives me love, which gives me energy to stream. Um, I'm very particular about having a plant and essential oils and the salt crystal in here, just because I want my stream setup to be uh, the happiest it possibly can and the best energy so I can provide for you guys all the energy that I have. Also, ignore the cord management. There's a bunch of new products that I've added recently and I haven't had time to clean that up, but you guys have been requesting this so much I wanted to get it out to you. So, oh my God, that piece of foam keeps falling off. Thanks to um, Hydration Bot, which makes me drink more water. This is like the biggest tip I can have give you guys. It doesn't matter if you're streamers, doesn't matter if you're gamers. Um, we all probably don't drink enough water. And so what I've done is I've started filling up a pitcher and just having it on my desk. If there's something for me to drink on my desk, I'm gonna drink it, whether it's unhealthy or healthy. So I'm gonna put some nice water with lots of lemon. This is my- Next up, we have Pro Hennis. Now some of you might remember Pro Hennis when he used to stream with Nick A30 before they had their little split. Pro Hennis was also hit with a short ban from YouTube for violating their terms of service, but that didn't stop him from streaming. He went over to Twitch and streamed for a short stint over there. And then when his ban was lifted on YouTube, he quickly returned to dominate in his streaming and content creation over on YouTube. Guys, he's rocking a two PC setup, three monitors, multiple keyboards, his Elgato stream deck, all while sitting in his work harder cloaked duct tape chair. Let's check it out. I had to walk right in this door. It's a small little office space. It was originally just like a study room, but I converted it into my office for all my YouTube related stuff because it's it's literally perfect. It's a small space. The only thing that sucks is that it does get really, really hot in here. You know, I've got all this lighting in here. We've got two computers and an eye sitting here. So I've got to leave the door open. And I've also got an AC in the back corner right there. But um, yeah, this is my gaming setup. Um, I'm gonna kind of start from left to right, move my way across and I'll show you guys everything. Like I said, uh, specific and specs and everything will be linked in the description down below of this actual video. So this side table right here, I've got my G Fuel tower, some shaker cups. I've also got my 100K plaque. You guys can see right above my setup, I keep my 100K plaque to remind myself of how far we've come and how much support you guys are showing my channel. I also got two sound foam panels right there and a whole back wall covered right here. So this is what you guys usually see. You can see my webcam is right there. So you guys usually get an angle sort of similar to this while I'm streaming. 
Um, and I really like the red and black because it kind of complements my channel colors and goes really well. So we've got a, a full panel of, uh, or a full wall of sound foam panels right there, almost full wall, uh, sound foam panels right there, right to the left of the door, and then some in that back corner as well. So like I said, a two PC streaming setup, my old PC streaming setup, and it's just right back there. I only used to have one PC to do both streaming and gaming, uh, but it's nice if you sort of the keyboard is a Razer Deathstalker. I really, really like it. You guys can see it's not mechanical, like a lot of gaming keyboards, it's pretty level. Uh, and the reason I like that though, is because it allows me to glide my fingers over the, uh, over the keys a little bit easier, which just makes gaming you know, a little bit more convenient for me. I don't have to lift my fingers up as high to press each individual key. And I've got my Razer Death Adder mouse, a large iBuy Power mouse pad, which I love to death. It just allows me to be, uh, you know, have a lot more space to move my hand and stuff, especially since I've been lowering my sensitivity. Um, these are my HyperX Cloud 2s. Absolutely love this headset. The build quality is amazing and the sound quality is great as well. Um, standard Dell 24 inch monitor. I already went over those all with you guys. Uh, these are just little desk trinkets that I've got right here. So that's a pink pony. Next up, we have Courage JD. Now, before Courage JD found his way as a streamer, he was an esports announcer. He's also been called by Fortnite to do many shoutcasts for their events. Courage JD is one of the top streamers out there, streaming with such personalities as Ninja, Tim the Tapman, and Dr. Lupo. He is currently rocking a two-PC setup with four monitors, dual keyboards, dual mice, and a ring light to keep those devilishly good looks in check. All right, guys. Here we have JD's current setup, and as you can see, his three monitors and his ring light in the back with his uh, ring light facing towards the wall to actually bounce light off, and that's what gives him that glow. Now, as you can see, he has his two IKEA tables set up on horse stands. He's rocking a GeForce GTX 1080, pictured on the right, which is his streaming computer, and on the left, which is his gaming computer. Now, both of these computers are sponsored by NZXT, which is a proud sponsor of Courage JD. Next up, we have Dr. Lupo. Now, Dr. Lupo has been playing with Ninja, Courage JD, Tim the Tapman, uh, and streaming on Twitch for many, many years, guys. And he has developed his setup to the point now where he has multiple cameras, multiple monitors to control his streaming command center. So this is currently the, the stream setup now. Some people sometimes say, hey Lupo, can uh, you have a picture of your uh, of your, your your setup and where everything is and how everything's uh, configured? Well, this is the room. Um, it's, it is, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It might be ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as this next streamer setup. You guessed it, Ninja. You might have seen him streaming with Jake a few years back, and now he's sponsored by Red Bull with this massive, massive streaming setup. Three of his cameras, each one costs about $4,000. Guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Ninja's streaming dojo. I'm literally mind blown. Welcome to the Ninja Dojo. times better than I even could have possibly imagined. Freaking incredible, man. Embroidered ninja chair. Uh, this is where I'm gonna be controlling all the uh, professional cameras in the room. Camera angle one. Camera angle two. And camera angle three. For the doggy bowls. I love the desk, man. My desk is, is super dope. When they show me, they show me all the snacks. And Brand new lighting fixtures. Classic clean blue look on the, the box here. Turn everything red. In a top 10 situation, when things start to get intense, man, the entire room is gonna go red. Whenever we get uh, the first win of the day, I'm gonna be switching over to preset number four, which is going to be for the pon pon. I will be only hitting the boogie button after a incredible victory royale, and it'll look a little bit like this. Who's got a disco ball in their streaming studio? Guys, that was awesome. All right, now check it out, guys. Listen, you're not gonna start off with these massive setups. 
you are gonna build up and work towards it. All of these streamers ha have one thing in common, and that is they all started at zero subscribers and zero viewers. They grinded and they worked their way up to the top. Guys, good luck on your journey to become a streamer, and hopefully you will find success and get that streaming studio of your dreams. We're out. A disco ball. Are you serious?